Hi, in this video I want to talk about expectations and imposition and this idea that just because um, we're living in an imposition, to, uh, we're obviously we're having an imposition, but that doesn't mean we can't have expectations of what will happen in the future and our, um, how we can use based on our own modeling, our own projections of reality, our own projections or thinking, or laying out the logic that we can experience based on these thoughts that we have and how we can project those thoughts into some kind of reasonable expectation of what can happen in the future based on our own expectations, our projections of value, our biases, our understanding based off of cause and effect, even though it's a um, it's a physical, it's, it's based on the physics, it can also be based on the perception of these physics and how we can use these and recognize based on the mechanisms around us and how these mechanisms work and how we can move forward on the, using these mechanisms mechanisms and just because obviously when say we're having an argument this it comes down to this uh, frustration mechanism that I'm talking about again uh, imposition we're always imposing no matter what um, we can't we have only so much control only, only so much understanding of the events that are happening around us um, we only could see the ex how how far we're how far our um, reach is when it comes uh, from our own perspective we can only see so far our reach when it comes to how we're affecting the world but we know that obviously things like the butterfly effect if you're going to uh, attach a word to the connotation the the concept that we're, we're attaching, we're understanding that we have an effect on everything else around us. Everything has an effect. You affect one person, that person affects another person based on the reaction and so on and so forth. And based on the person, the person that went, say the person that you, uh, 10 people over wants to call, you know, say 10 people in uh, relation of, of after that you've affected 10 people over, that person could as much just have affected you just as much as you've affected them. And that's the idea. We're always affecting someone. Something's happened. Some little thing. Everything we do, every little minuscule movement that we make has some kind of effect one way or another, even if it's in an isolated room. Me moving my hands. I'm in the room by myself. And this this has an effect just as much. It can be through inaction or action. But like the one and one concept that I went over again, um, that... Um, this concept, even though, uh, you know, the, the non-movement, you know, your non-movement, it's almost in rejection to this one-on-one, -on -one just because, um, you know, everything is here as, as we see it, um, and then we're all, there's only one and one percent chance. The one and one is uh, that my effect will have just as much an effect on anyone else, even if it is in an isolated room. Um, but the in effect that we have, the non-action the non that we experience, uh, can have just as much of an effect um, as the action that we take, and the non-action is is this movement, is part of this deterministic flow of the universe that we're experiencing based on the mechanisms at work, which control obviously us and our mechanisms because we're based off the mechanisms. We just have an awareness of the mechanisms. We're a conscious living thing that's experiencing feelings, emotions, sensations, and we can either be in good states or bad states, and we're at the imposition of a very crude force that's working in this universe. And there's nothing we could do beyond that, it's except, but except... Um, the imposition that we have, we can't do anything about this imposition. We, we, obviously, and when you have even more of these creatures, the more imposition, the more suffering. Obviously, the effect obviously is different, but the effect is just the same. There's an effect that's going to happen even if there's one person, just as much as there's more people. But more people, there's more suffering. There's more likely suffering, and there's more likely that there's going to be more imposition based on these different pieces moving and interacting with each other. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't have some reasonable expectation, even though we um, say you're. Um, getting in an argument with someone um, just because um, say a person's uh, you know saying that you're emotionally harming them because you call them a name obviously our sense of um, suffering is subjective that can bother someone it, you, you could, you've, through the act of not bothering you it can sub uh, it can bother someone else that it didn't bother you and so on and so forth and these things could just move on and move on we don't know, necessarily know the implications of everything based on the end event that's going to possibly happen we can just only have held expectations say you have a goal um, you have a goal of something and your expectation is to help the world feed the hungry and do things like that and you can have this expectation um, even um, this expectation even though you don't necessarily know the imposition of the accomplishment that you're going to get there you can just have this expectation without necessarily knowing what imposition you might get on the way there and the imposition of these effects you might help a hundred people but you might take away from a hundred people even more you might do more harm than good your intentions are good and that's obviously one of the things that matters. But like you know, like any concept, if you can't bring the like, you can't, what's the point? You know, if your your intentions are good, but it's sort of like acknowledging something but not doing anything about it. Well, who who cares if your intentions are good if you're not doing anything about it? Who cares if you care or you're acknowledging something if you're not going to do anything about it? Your intentions are good, but you're still having a negative effect. And obviously, that's nothing we can do about that. Our effect is just as much as the, as the world's effect. The world's effect is just as much as our effect. 
Uh, obviously, we're just affecting each other. We're all part of this one large effect that happens after the uh, beginning boom or whatever you want to use, theoretically speaking. Um, there's nothing we can do except uh, live out the game. Obviously, use what we know, lose, learn based off of our own um, experiences and past experiences, which have led up to this moment, and that have, are going to move me into the future. And that's obviously what's happening. It's deterministic, based off of cause and effect. These little different idiosyncrasies happening based on the first event that happened, and now we are where we are now. So there's nothing we can do except live in this um, live in this universe that has control over us. Um, and we're just playing out the game. We don't know what we're playing out until we experience the playing out, and nothing's happening yet. It's based on this constant movement. All of a sudden, something a meteor can crash into this uh, the, the the ceiling, and I can get hit, and that's just the movement that wouldn't have happened. I didn't recognize it. I have no control over. It. I didn't know uh, beforehand. I could have. I, I couldn't have. I could have predicted. I couldn't have predicted. It doesn't matter. It's going to happen either way, and it's what happened. Once it's happened, it's part of the deterministic universe that we're living in. And, I, and the only thing that can happen is we move forward, and things have happened a certain way, and. It's the end. Um, so back to the idea of an argument in this uh, imposition thing. Obviously, you have an argument. You say, "Oh, you're hurting someone's feelings because you have an argument, and you're you're belittling them. You're you, these these are hurting their feelings." Um, Obviously, we can't do anything but impose, and it's a matter of imposing. Obviously, you can only go so far with this right reason thing. We, we, we can pose for the right reason, and we can only do so much, knowing that you're going to do the right thing. We can both think we're doing the right thing. I can think I'm right. You can think you're right. That doesn't mean you're not wrong, and I'm not right. We can both think we're right, but we're, all, we're both fighting for different reasons. And, and you know, one, even if one of us, both of us aren't right, one of us is more right than the other person. One of us is on the scale more towards the right side, and one of us is less towards the right side and more towards the wrong side. So we're both um, obviously fighting for something, and um, imposition is unavoidable in a world where all we, all we can do is impose. We're, we're forced into the system based off of the mechanism that brought us here to begin with. Imposition, we're here now. Obviously, since we're here, there's nothing we can do. Obviously, we, can, we have to make the most of the experience based off of, um, and based off of this mechanism, obviously, that we're a part of. And um, uh, the imposition that we have on other people is just a part of the game that we're playing. There's nothing we can do. And if there were no other imposition, it's sort of like back to the argument. It doesn't matter if there's no one else there to impose. The person that's experiencing, if it's just a one person experiencing, it matters to that one person. It still happens to that one person. It doesn't matter because there's no witness witnessing it. It still matters. The effect of the world and the crude system on this uh, uh, this this. Uh, precious resource of this consciousness and awareness and this sentience doesn't mean if there's no one else to uh, view it doesn't mean it's matter it uh, doesn't matter and the crude force is based off a of cause and effect and have just as much an effect on one person than all these people interacting it just means there's more openness to the idea of this imposition and imposition for the right reasons obviously can be good obviously you get you can gain out of losing you can gain out of losing and then you can get more out of the gain and the lo uh, lose and then obviously you have to go through some losing blah 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 obviously that doesn't mean but I want to get onto that into another uh, in another video about the uh, another subject like that and so yes um, all we're doing is uh, we have expectations, and we can only reasonably go beyond from our own expectation. From our own expectations, you can only see so far our expectations. It's a it's a projection of an expectation in our mind and our understanding of the world that we're living in, and our projections of um, our projection. It's a projection in the moment that we're living. We're projecting some idea that we can take into the future. And we can only go so far with expectations. And we can we can only go so far in understanding our position based off these expectations and what we're going to do. But just because there's imposition doesn't mean we can't understand our expectations and our expectations and impositions, and they all go in one in our understanding of what we're doing and how we can un understand and go forward and set our expectations, and not only looking back at the past, but looking in the future and the imposition that we've obviously looked back. Obviously, imposition is something you look back and see what you've done, uh, and the expectation is something you look forward to. So imposition is looking into the past, recognizing what the, the effect that you have, and the um, expectation is something that you have looking into the future, your anticipation, your expectation, two different synonymous words you can use in any situation like this. Uh, so I think that's enough on the subject. Um, so I appreciate it. Thank you, and until next time, bye.